Dude, what am I playing right now? <laughs> That's my face right there. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Howling Out with Host Officer. We're back at it again with some Sally Face. We're doing Chapter 3 today. I believe it's called the baloney incident, which I'm kind of confused about. Is he allergic? Is he scared of baloney? I don't know. But <laughs> it really intrigued me last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and start off there. So if you like the series in this video, leave it a thumbs up. Let's me and YouTube know y'all enjoy it. And subscribe to join the wolf hack. Always have to have new wolves. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, yes, this doodling. I said I'm dead or dad or something. If I were more than just a doodle. Oh, I'm actually moving around. Interesting. Uh, let's just talk to the pyramid dude. Hello, are you okay? Are you okay? Let's just keep going, shall we? Okay, you, you, you look less scary. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth and the truth destroys his soul. Now please leave us alone ahead. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But the round head like you will never make it. Aight. It's a ladder. Let's go this way. Oh, hello. Are you a platypus? Uh, no. Well, I can just simply ignore them all. Okay. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your really shaved head? I didn't mean to offend. I was... Hmm, don't bother. Go bother with someone else. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors are mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people are drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could that? We do not speak of such things. If you want more, you'll need to seek out the... Oracle on the dead fields. What? So I just keep going. Oh! Hi. Are you the great beast? Well, frick you too, friend. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't pay. Don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been here for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean that crazy old hag that lives beyond the death? Just take the ladder down, always a ladder down. Alright. This is weird. Um, are you the hag? Hello. You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? The dark place. This is this a field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Cool. Oh, I used to play with these back in middle school. I don't play with that in middle school. Okay. Are you a prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Okay. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades. Then was laid to rest by the magnificent explosion in the sky. You talk about the dinosaurs? Never mind. <laughs> the most believe most believe the beast to the dead, though we know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created the great hole in a papery fabric of this world. The hole that contains all the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? Ooh. Um. Everything. 
Dude, what am I playing right now? <laughs> That's my face right there. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen, but I didn't. The noise is what got me. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up! Uh huh? Oh, we're in school. That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry, I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. Okay, dude, turns around. <laughs> Your blonde hair. I know, dear. You aced it very well. Or, you aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of class, okay? What? Sure, it won't happen again. Everyone's taking a test. What do you want me to do? Play with my thumbs? Like, just let me sleep. At least my school, the one I went to, if we were done with the test, there wasn't anything to do. There wasn't anything to do for the rest of the class until you know the time runs out and we go home. So we just we just slept afterwards. So I don't know. Maybe some schools are different. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Ugh. Ugh. His name is Travis Phelps. Disgusting. Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests before leaving. <laughs> Mr. Phelps. Oh, look at that face! My gosh, he needs a mask. Hey, freak. Nobody likes goody two-shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. <laughs> Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. My gosh. He needs to chill. <laughs> you know, if you took a stick... You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Frick off. I ain't saying that. I'm not getting demonetized. But y'all can see it. I have more friends than you'll ever have. I, I bet. I bet. You kiss your daddy with that tongue? I'm sure he... What the hell, asshole? My god, he just got punched! Sal's a beast. He just standing there like nothing happened. Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, use my bandana. Is she taking off his mask? Okay. I'm kind of curious to see what his face is, but I doubt they're going to show it. Wait, hold on, you can't, I'm... I want to see the face! Oh my gosh, it's not gonna let me, huh? There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry. You can hardly see it. Ha. Huh. Thanks, Ash. So she has no reaction to his face. Dude, what ha- oh. <laughs> There's Larry. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick? I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could make things worse. Not if he's dead. Dude, you're dead. No. Don't tell me that's how he died, because I'd be very upset. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and be stuck in this... for the... with that bonehead for the next two years. Ha. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. True. She was very skeptic about it. You know, I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much even for me. So we're really just gonna let this Travis thing go? Dude, he is itching for a fight! Look at that face! <laughs> His pupils dilated and everything! It's not worth it. Plus, I think about it. Who knows what his home is like. He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. Ooh, so yeah. 
That is one of the biggest things I've always learned that if someone's not happy with things going in life or like their backstory or like the day they've had, usually it's not you yourself if you're bullied the cause it's probably you're just towards an easy target or they're jealous of the way you handle yourself in your life that they gotta predict that rage and stuff towards the positive thing i guess hopefully you'll know what i understand oh, i can't speak i'm sorry hopefully you'll understand what i'm getting at Moral, this little rant there that it's not you as a target as much as it is them trying to get rid of the rage in their life. <sighs> Alright, let's see. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switched bologna sandwich day to tomorrow. Wait, the chapter 3 is the bologna incident, right? Hey. Seriously, I've never been, never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal. And he doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien. Ha. Huh. That's all we need. Psh. Larry. I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. <laughs> He's got some good friends. Oh man, the next day, baloney day. <laughs> Here comes the music. Knockville? What happened? He not gonna like we're not gonna talk about what's up with the lunch lady's eye like what happened to her nothing okay so these are my group of friends apparently yeah I don't think I've met the girl in the gray hairdo over there but green hairs chug Larry me Ash and Todd I believe his name was Cool. <laughs> I don't know if I could do all these names, but or the voices, but I'm gonna try. Does that bologna smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I've heard it's made of goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick today after bologna day last week too? I forgot. I forgot his voice. <laughs> Oh. Hey guys, don't ruin the lunch for me, please. It's not good. It's the only good part of the day. Group huddle. I'm in. Me too. Count me in. Oh, I guess Maple, that's her name. Uh, have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this bologna. Maybe there's a batch of bad beef or expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude. This shit's funky. Doesn't taste like beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and turkey. Todd, man. You're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Oh, there's there a hot dog incident. Well, what other incidents are there? <laughs> Spam? <laughs> anyways. Anyways. <laughs> oh, ugh, I hope not. Sal might be on to something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to make our sandwich. I would like to take our sandwiches to the science lab. Of course he would. And see if I can run any bacterial or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know what exactly the ingredients are. 
Okay, Ash. You go with Todd and help him to the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information about the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so we like... <laughs> oh, cool. Alright, on. Can I use my uh, ghost thing here? No? No ghost thing? Okay, got it. Hall. Uh, hall. Can we go in the hall? We should talk to Kim first. Here's Kim! Okay. Maple and Chug. Oh, hi. Oh, uh, hi, Larry. Hey, Maple. Aren't you guys gonna eat your lunch? My mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Ah. Uh, I mean, if you're not gonna. Of course you can have it, Chug. Of course you can have it, Chug. Heck yeah! Okay. I ain't talking to Travis. Okay, so the lunch lady is Kim. Hmm. Let's just talk to Travis, because I know... I thought I smelled trash. What about you flamers up to... Oh my gosh! What is up with him and these stupid names? Not stupid names. Name calling. <laughs> Get bent, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's baloney day. He's gonna get himself beat up one day, I swear. Using the language. Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the baloney. Could you tell us where the school buys it from? Why you want to know about baloney, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? Oh, she talks in third person. Cool. No, no, we were just wondering where it. You kids go and sit back in the chairs now. No more questions. I think we just could see the package or... No package for you. Butts and chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She's always seems un so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning her lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory, though. I guess it's worth looking into. What are we, mystery kids? Like... <laughs> we just take on all kinds of stuff, huh? Why don't you see if we can sneak into the principal's office and look at her files? While you do that, I'll check with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Right. Mm. To the science lab! Ooh, my locker. What is that? A picture? Oh, they're Ninja Turtles. Great. <laughs> a picture of us from Halloween. It was so fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. That is true. I've had this backpack since I started going to school here. It's a little worn around the edges. There's some textbooks. Todd suggests I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. It would... The world we live in is fascinating to fill with mystery. We usually see paper clips to open lockers. It's faster and we don't have to memorize combos. If we have a paper clip, we could get into other lockers. Okay, so that base cool, so he's saying we need to find paper clip. Um I'm a dude, I believe. Okay, yeah. Is there something I can do? Stop open. Okay. I can't do my ghost thingy, right? No. Okay. Let's go. Sometimes I'm going to eventually, but cafeteria. Courtyard. Hi, Larry. Any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Courtyard. Window, birds. Um, window, teachers are in there. You need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe I can make a loud noise.
There's a ball over there. Hmm. It's class. Um, chemicals? Got some sticky tacks. Okay. Hey, Todd. Find anything? Not yet. We were able to get baloney ingredients? No, not yet. She wanted to get some materials for me. I recommend she. I recommend that she look in the janitor to call that. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. Uh oh. I'll be right back. So she's in trouble. I can already tell. Paper clip, paper clip. Any is it, what is that on the ground? Um What did I just pick up? Oh <gasps> Paperclip score. Alright, I'm gonna look in there one more time. We'll look on our desk. No, nothing. Got it. Cool. Let's go. Classroom. Cafeteria. Okay, my locker. Let's look in this. Todd! Who's that? Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. Got you, Todd. Okay. Cool. They're always so happy when they're together. It makes me happy, too. Aw. What a good friend. This potato-like thingy is a science experiment Todd showed to the class. I'm surprised it's still going. Uh, short of supplies. Books. Sells. Do I really want to go on my friend's locker? Is that okay? Near me. Um. Sure. If it takes me, if it says take it, must be clues. Okay. Why does she have pictures of trees and stuff? Okay. Let's go lockers. It's like a Larry's locker. Okay, it looks like Yeah, okay, just making sure um. Okay, fine I will Hey Travis, what do you want? The detective work room. Not great so far. We're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, it's it's this good baloney. Nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. <laughs> she has a point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any event, I hope you're right. All right, cool, cool. So we got a paper clip, which we did the lock. Cause we got a camera. I wonder what the camera's gonna be for. Um, the class. This is the one we just went in, right? Yeah. Alright. <sighs> is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, we're looking for a janitor's closet, right? Hey, what's wrong? The dang closet's locked. I need something there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock and Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole and it's jammed in good. Hmm. I could use some pliers to get it out, but yeah, they'd be in the closet with the janitor always leaving lunch. I'll see what I can find. 
thinks in the meantime, we're gonna keep trying this out. Um, can I... Cause that's sticky tack or whatever, right? Awesome, it came out and I was able to get into the door unlocked too. I must have been close to getting it open with the pin. Alright, now that I got what I need, I need to head back to the lab. Cool, I'll meet up with you and Todd in a little while. I have to figure out a way to get the ingredients first. Can I go in the locker room? Or the locker room container closet? No? Cool? Alright. Alright, I do need... Run the ingredient. Oh! Sweet. Oh, the tennis ball has a smiley face on it. I didn't know I can move the trees. Alright, I need to... Am I going to be throwing the ball at the birds? Alright, cool. I thought I was... I'd be a little cruel even to me. Alright. Use the tennis ball. Um. Tennis ball. Throw. Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounds like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. We're gonna throw it again. We're gonna throw it again. Come on. What? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's all we need to do. Or, do I need to throw this ball at? Oh, okay. Again, that looked way too cruel to throw at birds. Alright, let's go back inside. Um, I'm hoping that worked. Alright, did the teachers leave? Did you get passed? Yeah, good thing I was that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome, anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, but I didn't get a good look, really. If you can't distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take the file. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by still in the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sal. What should we do? Give me a minute, I'll think of something. Is there a fire alarm or anything around here? The fire alarm's high, man. That's not the that's not the fire alarm. I mean it's the alarm, the bell and stuff, but it ain't something you pull. Can I throw the ball? No. Alright. Well, can you take a picture of the file, Larry? No? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Move, Larry. Well. Let's see. So it again. Oh, what was that? I don't know. It sounds like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it's those dang birds. Throw it again? No? I can only throw it one time, but okay. Did you get the file, Larry? Here, use Ash camera ticket. Thank you! That's what I... That's what I was just saying! Alright, let's do this again. Throw it. Well, they say the same thing. Yep. Okay. Alright, Larry. Hopefully, take a picture. What'd you get? What'd you get? Did you get it? Dude, the files are missing. What? How can that be? No one else went in there without you seeing them. Eh. Just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. I was just about to say, is it like a ghost in there or jeez. 
<coughs> oh, you butt nozzle. <laughs> Score it. Let's take it. Take a look, a look at it. A butt nozzle. All right. I think you know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. Why don't you want to follow you, dude? No. I don't even think noobs. I got nothing else to do. Whew. All right, cool. Hey, the gang's all here. You get that baloney yet, dude? I'm working on it. Find anything? Not yet. We're gonna be baloney ingredients. Not yet. All right. Um, you get it. What? So I got I have to go get the baloney again. Okay. Let's go to the cafeteria. <laughs> I bet I'm just gonna start a food fight. How much you gonna bet? Wait. Hi. No, you're not gonna give me some of your bologna? No? Alright, you're cool. Oh god, top of the truck. Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? How am I gonna get this bologna thing? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Address, phone number, higher position, education. Previous employee, photographer. You must stop feeding the birds in the courtyard. Oh, the teachers are getting annoyed. Alright, well, that didn't do anything. Hmm. So let's see. We check the lockers. Is, some, is something in this bathroom? Hmm. Let's get to Let's go to the courtyard again. I don't honestly know what the camera is supposed to do. Alright, I got a picture. Am I am I supposed to do it again? No. Alright, maybe I give this to the lunch lady. It should be like because she likes to feed the birds, so maybe she's bird watching. Let's see. It doesn't give me a clear thing here. Alright. There's a bird picture. No? I got something for you. What's this? A photograph? A birdie? You take pictures? Yeah, I take it for you. It's a small thanks for all your hard work you do. Aw, oh, sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can I tell you where the school buys the bologna from? What are you interested in bologna for? Oh, well, uh, my friends and I really like it and I want to know where you get it from. It's a local made by Miss Packerson. 
100% beef she brings from the farm once a week. Here, I give you some extra meats to bring the Kim nice food. Aww. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So, we got the baloney. Mrs. Packerson, I think she teaches in one of these classrooms. Uh, but. Oh, that's for the box. Okay. It's a front door. Oh. But, uh, yeah, Miss Parkinson, I think, is in the classroom teaching. So, I need to go and investigate with her and then bring the baloney to uh, Todd. Yeah, this one. Oh, this is exactly where I was. Nothing fishy here. Alright. Baloney. Let's go. Science lab. Got it, dudes. I got it. I got it. Okay, well, baloney perfect. Kim said she made Miss Packerson. Oh, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How can she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I forgot she lives there too. <laughs> wow. Okay. <clears throat> I hardly can believe. I hardly ever see her. You've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved here. Not sure. She tends to return at late hours. I believe she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as may you may think. So that's fairly common. Yes, yeah, true. However. When Miss Packerson is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very particular. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask pa Packerson about the odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to, to do your whole detective thing? Hey, I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do this, this spook. Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerson. I don't like the way this is playing out. That's true. Be safe. Be safe. If something, if something nefarious is going on, it's the best not to let Packerson know that we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sal. All right. Why don't you and Larry go check out Miss Packerson's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Oh my goodness. I don't know what else we're gonna find here. Alright, Larry, we need to. I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. And she keeps the desk drawers locked. Do you remember how to pick a lock? I'll show you. Yeah, there's no keyhole. A, com a combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get into the opening? Let me look at it. Packerson. Change it. Got it. I just have to look at that cut this right there. It's a square root of pi right there. Oh, I knew it. Okay, got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of math papers and hold on, there's something hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. Wait, what is it? I'm not sure. She's a witch! Witch! Alright, what's this? Little jars filled up what looks like spices maybe for cooking? No. Uh, what does that bird skull have to do? It's pretty creepy. It's a Bible. The book is really old, but it isn't anything special about it. 
bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're written in another language. I can't make any sense of it. A strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box. This is, yeah, take it. Key, take it. That's exactly what it is. It's the key to his puzzle box. There's another one of these metal boxes like the... What just happened? Shit. What's ha it's happening again. Yeah, I... What is hap- What is this? I don't understand what this is right now. Are you sure? Could it be just a dehydration? You didn't eat anything at lunch either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But, never mind. Let's go check with Todd and Ashley. I probably should have kept looking. I didn't think it- Oh, man. Hey guys, we found some of the sketchy things in Parkinson's desk. How are you testing coming? We're not getting any sense of harm from chemicals and bacteria. However, we can all agree that there is something particular going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn. I'm gonna miss action again. Miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help after, though. Oh, later that day. We're at the apartments. I'll need a few minutes to get ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first, anyways. Let's meet up at Todd's room and once everything is ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Ooh, guys, we're about to go investigate. Investigate. But I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. We did a lot of clues searching around the school as we did at lunch cafeteria. We know that the Bloney incident is linked to something very creepy. I don't know what's going on. I know the teacher is a witch or some sort of like cultist. And the meat could not be beef, you know what I mean. So, we're going to see if the missing children in my head, the missing children are because they're getting turned into a baloney and whatnot. But that's really dark. I think this is where it's going to go. However, I'm not sure. So if you like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Let me know on YouTube know you'll enjoy the content. And the more likes filter in, the faster I can get a video out. So without further ado, subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Always happy to have new wolves. And I'll see you next time. Bye.